show, then touch us at 312-591-8900. Or fax us on the WLS fax line. 312-984-5283. Talk Radio 89 WLS. Maybe you can drive my car. Six forty-two, eighteen until seven o'clock with Don Wade and Roma. Good morning. It's going to be a great day. Michael Jordan signs for one year, thirty-six million dollars. Back to school in Chicago today. Mike Espy, Secretary of Agriculture, former indicted on thirty-nine counts. Al Gore's phone call problem gets worse. Colonel sues the smoking wife. Round two, chocolates the choke, and the backseat confession, plus the Magellan Fund. What an and Mick Jagger. Odd, Mick Jagger. Odd stew we cooked uh, up this morning. Mick Jagger's wearing Tommy Stinkfinger clothes for money. Oh, your favorite Big designer. Deal. But about this letter, I want to go through this uh, advice column. Je Jeff Zaslow writes an advice column, lovelorn column right. in the Sun Times. Yes. I want to read you the question and the answer. And, uh, and okay, we're going to. This is very unusual. Yeah. Read but you go the, for it, the question and the answer, and I want you to pick out what's wrong. Can you find the mistakes in this picture? You ever played that game? Oh, sure. The little cartoons sure. where you see what's wrong with all the different things. How many mistakes can you find in this picture? Okay. Okay, so there are mistakes in the question and in the answer. So listen to this. Dear Zaz, my wife and I drive a car that belonged to her before we got married. Recently, she confessed to me that she made love to her ex-boyfriend in the back seat of this car. This happened three years ago before I knew my wife. Still, I'm very disturbed. Whenever I'm in the car, I imagine her going at it with Frank. Oh. I look in the rear view mirror and it's as if I can oh. see them. I want to sell the car. Oh. My wife wants to keep it. She says she likes the car for sentimental reasons that have nothing to do with Frank. She thinks I'm making a big deal over nothing. Am I? Signed, Wants to Sell. And Zaz writes, Dear Wants, Instead of selling the car, you could reupholster the back seat. But that might not change the apparitions in your rearview mirror. A better idea? Keep the car and accept that your wife had a life before she met you. Besides, for all you know, there are more reminders of Frank than you can even count. Does your house contain an old couch that your wife had in her single days? An old mattress in a guest room? Nightgowns that predated her love affair with you? All of these could have Frank's fingerprints on them. Soon enough, it'll be time to trade in that car. Until then, don't force it out of your life. Maybe what you need to do is rechristen the car by inviting your wife into the back seat to make love to you. Okay. Our number is 591-8900. Can you find the mistakes in this picture? <laughs> I can't believe I'm this. telling you, this is one of the wildest, weirdest, most idiotic. Okay, what are the crazy things in the letter and the response to this? Yeah, so I know 591-8900. Yeah. All right, call now because... Uh, Maybe I, we can counsel not only wants to sell, but also Zaz at the same time. Yeah, because Jeff Zaslow has got to be one of the biggest idiots to ever write a, an advice Excuse column. Excuse me. <laughs> I, I, tell me, tell I me that this guy isn't to... one of the biggest idiots for an advice columnist. This, is, this guy is insane. You mean his answer is? Well, he is. If he wrote that, he's, he's well, he's either stupid, insane, ignorant, or what? Let's talk to Bob in Park Ridge. Uh, okay. Bob, good morning. You're on WLS. Well, I'd say get rid of the wife and keep the car. Get rid of the wife, <laughs> keep, keep the, the car. car. You can always trade the car in, but you can't trade her in. Yeah. Excuse me. Okay. So just oh, okay. get another wife, Thank eh? you. Uh, let's go to uh, Rich in Lincolnwood. Hey, you know, why did she tell him anyway? I mean, what's her agenda? Boy, there's why mistake number one. How did, how did this conversation ever transpire? Why would she ever 
think that he would want to know that she made love to some other guy in the back seat of that car. She's telling him something, Don. Well, There's but something... maybe, see, maybe she, he said recently she confessed to me. So maybe he pressured her. Yeah. See, this guy may have been pushing her Doesn't to matter. tell him, Should have lied. you know, about what she had done, where she had done it, what... You always lie about your pre-marriage sex. I mean, you know... Okay, never, true. never, ever tell the truth about your love life Absolutely. before. You're okay. Right, <laughs> All right. <laughs> we agree today. <laughs> All right. Okay, thank you. So we have mistakes with the... Uh, with the, uh, the, the so uh, mistake number one is her confession. Yeah. But how about this? How about Zaz's answer? Maybe what you need to do is rechristen the car by inviting your wife into the back seat to make love to you. Now, let me ask you this. Suppose you're in that situation. You <laughs> found out that your wife, your wife made love to this guy a couple of years ago in the back seat of this car, and now she invites you to get in the back seat and make love to her. Now, you now, invite her. Or you invite her to get into the back seat and make love. Now, suppose things don't work out so well. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. You oh, mean she's you... she's going to be comparing you, you, you two guys. That's right. Because you've set it up for a comparison situation. What a stupid guy Jeff Zaslow is. <laughs> How a... stupid can you get, uh, Z Cindy <laughs> in Lake could, Zurich? And it could just cause a huge fight and precipitate a divorce. You end up with a divorce out of this. Yeah. I'm telling you. Oh, this is too funny. It could be a war. You know, if Frank was anywhere near the edge on this issue, Zaz took both feet and just plunged him right over the side. So if we no, hear Frank about, is the other guy. Frank or, is the or, lover, the earlier. You know, why didn't okay. Zaz tell him just to get rid of the rearview mirror? Because well, that's what yeah. he said. <laughs> he yeah, but I, I expect to hear any day now some guy sitting naked in a tower with an AK-47, and it's probably going to be this guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he goes back to his house and everything smells of Frank, looks of Frank. Yeah, he's got to get rid of everything that, that oh, has right. Frank yeah. about it. And yeah. Zaz has said of his paranoia running rampant. Oh, he already God, says yeah. that he's I'm very disturbed. Uh -huh. And then and Zaz tells him, okay, have you checked out the couch? Have you looked at the old mattress? Have you checked her nightgowns? Oh, oh my God. gosh, the guy is going to go berserk. Nightgowns. Can't you see this Suppose scene? you confessed. Uh, why, would, why would a woman tell her husband, you know, I made love to this guy, Frank, a couple of years ago. I was wearing this same nightgown. Yeah, this teddy, uh, and it was his favorite. You know, this <laughs> quest that we are on for total honesty in our relationships, I have made that mistake once in my life. Never, <laughs> ever again. And it's not in being dishonest with somebody, but, you know, what's in the past is in the past, and keep that lid on Pandora's box. Yeah. Why do you want to cause somebody pain? Oh, that, that, exactly. That's the, exactly. That's in, the crazy yeah, thing. In the effort of being honest and open, good God. <laughs> well, thank you. This takes the cake as a pair yeah, of letters, yeah. doesn't it? It does. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Cindy. I don't know how, how Dr. Laura would uh, deal with this. Mary, and uh, well, you're behind the cheddar curtain. Yeah, I have a daughter that caught her husband. Well, she found out that he was cheating on her. When she was working hard, and then uh, he was on a motorcycle with this dame, and when she found out, she made him take that motorcycle, the motorcycle seat off, and replace it with a new seat. <laughs> a new seat. All right, Mary. There's the answer. Change Thank the you. Seat yeah. All right. Motorcycle. <laughs> is this the Frank? Yes. This is Frank. You're the Frank uh, involved in this story. Yes, I am. Okay. And if I could, I would buy the car. I had one heck of a time in that back seat. Thank you, Frank. It's 10 minutes to 7, the W. Wallace Chicagoland weather. Areas of patchy fog this morning, otherwise sunny, pleasant with a high around 80 degrees. Tonight, cooler, low of 58. And tomorrow, sunny and a high again of 80 degrees. Zaz is an idiot. Uh, the marine his forecast his was not good. Let's for say Southern that. Lake, Michigan. I, I can make the giant leap. Jeff Zaslow is an idiot. I don't, I, it's, you know, it's not an idiotic comment. He's an idiot. Forecast is winds north, 10 knots, becoming onshore. Waves 1 to 3 feet. Tonight, onshore winds 10 knots, becoming northeasterly 5 to 10. Waves less than 2 feet. 
68 at O'Hare, 69 at Midway, DuPage 68, the Lakefront 70, and an A miss to 7, the WLS traffic. Here's Mark Davis. Checking the tollways this time around on the tri state northbound heavy into the toll stations, then again, you'll